All right, so we're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, so now it's time to wire up our speaker. Um, so on the Helder AIO board, um, we've got our speaker here. We just need to tin the board here so it kind of adheres to everything here. So uh, with the speaker, the quick and easiest way is to take a battery and uh, connect it up to the leads. Um, so you kind of tap it and you'll see if the speaker goes outward, you know your positive and your negative go. Um, if you if it goes inward, then it's reversed. So I already found out with this uh, this particular speaker, every single one of them is going to be different. Um, I mean, you have a 50-50 chance. So it's not that big of a deal uh, to test it out. But that is literally the quickest way on testing out your speaker. So we'll go ahead and... Whoop, solder these guys on and then we are good so we'll go ahead and grab our primary display here get the display cables out of the way We'll insert our buttons. Sometimes it helps to have everything in front of you when you uh, install this stuff. So I know that the display cable here is going to kind of get in the way, but that's okay. Um, once we have the board down into place, it'll level itself out a smidge. Let me if I can find all the other buttons here. select. So here we are. Get a quick test fit. Make sure that we're not running into anything important here and all the stands and everything has been trimmed as necessary and we can start screwing these down into place. I like to start with the inside out because it kind of levels everything out quite a bit. Just test to make sure our buttonholes and everything pop out. So there's that. That looks pretty good. Um, now I just need to find the screws. I'll go ahead and screw everything into place. Um, and then we're getting one step closer. We'll test for closure and make sure everything looks pretty good. And then we'll start soldering everything into place.